and we're off off on the road again this time we're off on a jolly to Saltburn by the sea long and winding road Good morning, and we have woken up at sunny Saltburn by the sea, and there's many a motorhome appeared overnight, you can clearly see. There's no shortage of them actually, but uh, the good news is there are four coveted motorhome bays, and we have managed to bag one of them. So we're going to be exploring salt burn in a moment and that's us there and I'm looking forward to it on this nice sunny day to tell you the truth so I will go into details of the park up a little later on you can see we've got a lovely view and some picnic tables Them tractors. It's quite old, aren't they? They've been pulling the boats up and down that ramp for years. Plenty of surfers out, isn't there? Put them all. Zoom in. I went in the ship last night for a bite to eat. The Green King? Yeah, it weren't bad, were it? Alright. We had scampion chips. I had the smothered chicken. Yeah. Just one at milk, pub food really. And just by the ship do a bit of cliffside walking and so wish. Um who is I'm, I'm gonna mention this. There's a an old mortuary there. Bit of a grim thing to, to cover but I think it's worthy of recording it. It looks to be in a state of dilapidation. Nice old building nonetheless. Going to pop. Surfer there. Catch a wave. Don't try to be rocked on that speed. It does actually look like there's some good upside walks here. You can see the back there to the left, which I've seen a few people go up it. And there's a riverside walk which we're gonna do a little later. Nice old buildings there, and particularly not like the one on the right. You can see there's some quite interesting bay windows, and the pier. We're gonna have a walk down that in a bit. Skelton no, Beck. Yeah, We're just trying to work out if this yeah, is a river. Okay. We plan to walk up, up by there, there you go. in a bit. 
Skelton Beck. Well, we're calling here last night. Uh, just to the right where you see the pier. There's an amusement arcade. And uh, Trina won. Plastic expenders. You won a pound, didn't you? Yeah, a pound. You got a good return on your investment. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna reinvest? I'm not. No, I'm keeping it. I would. If I'm in next park up. Here with one thing on it. Right at the beginning. There's some people braver than me and you. It's, it's the sea air, it must go to the head. It's not February. <laughs> yeah. It's you... fashionable all this cold water swimming. Uh -huh. It's health. all the rage. Yep. There's loads of people in the sea. I've never seen as many actually at this time of year in the sea. No, when would you think it were middle of a heat wave? It's mid February. Let's go at it. Bearing the waves. You're surfing away quite well. We just noticed the surfer, what, we just, we just got near the end and stepped off, I think, because it's shallow. And you were getting into the shallow, you were going all the way in. Got some kind of pole. Yeah, he stepped off. So here we are at the end. We've got some good waves going off, we've noticed. The surfers are picking their wave, which is quite quite large waves we're uh, near the end of the pier and uh, this is the inland view the pictures and they're unfortunately close so we're going to have to walk it up there uh, a bit of exercise doesn't do you anyhow you yeah, always feel like that at the time It's all tough, as it says. Remember that film, uh, Tom Hanks, Big? See what happens. Be careful what you wish for. Well, I weren't fancying uh, going up all them steps again. So, I'd rather gone in that. But, it was uh, been a fire. Yeah, something's wrong with them when they're closed. I'm sure you didn't notice. Is that door charred? It does look charred, doesn't yeah. it? Wow. Tramway fire. I can it's smell it. it, yeah. It smells of burning. <laughs> There's a bit of information about its predecessor. I think it's going to be a while before this is operation. Cashew only. Why not? Cash is king. You don't want to bring your dog here, you're excluded. It's all part of this discrimination. Ah. Yeah. So what do you think about the state of that? Toilets? Um, it were a bit cleaner than other ones we were in Do you think we've been spoiled with the lovely clean toilets in Burrowbridge? Burrowbridge. Yeah, definitely. I didn't know what you were going to say. There seems to be definitely a vacancy for a, a good cleaner at both these public toilets we've been to. I mean, public toilets are public toilets generally. But 
you can sort of tolerate it and being reasonable, but a bit of grot. Really grotty. Yeah. Ooh. I think I think the ladies have suffered worse than the gents. Yeah, it's like to wash your hands, you're probably putting more germs on. The yeah. sink like clattered up with all sorts. The women of salt them could be absolutely filthy. I've got a clue why they were the sludge or something else, but I weren't washing my hands in there. Yeah, I never realised you could hire these beat juts. Yeah, it's, looks like they've had a battery for the, the seat getting up, but the two we saw inside look reasonable. Spotting all names. Yeah. A lot of women's. Oh look, it's Florence. It is, yeah. Alexandra. I think they're all women. They're not, because it's... Um, Brian down here. Brian. Brian. <laughs> Brian. Margareta. No, it's James. No, they're not all women. James, yeah. Bella. Yeah, it's Richard. Thomas. We look like Thomas, dang. Oh, is that that's the office. For a deck chair. Yeah. I think we ought to get the deck chairs out now, they're doing something. On twenty for a broom, pot of tea, that's all right. Well I am. Well that's how some people pronounce it anyway. These I've got a name, oh I'm Beatrice. The double. Oh, Charlie. That's a nice walk. It's fizzling out now. That one yet. Well, I'm quite surprised how many people are out. You know, in the mid February weekend. Quite a nice day, though, really. Yeah. Good place for dog walking. Do you, want, do you fancy these steps to town? Just the, cliff, the cliff list, shut. <laughs> I think there's more than 199 It's all the rage, there. steps. Step aerobics, things like that. I could go sit on a bit of driftwood. It'd be expensive driftwood if you want to buy it. Quite treacherous paths, aren't they? I think we'll take this one. There's no shortage of steps here. Cliffs, steps. That's all you get. Look at these steps over here. More steps and cliffs. Less steps that way, do you? And there is that. I hope so. <laughs> well, just, just go with your comfort zone, I suppose. Well, at least we get to see the Wicker Man constructions. With a little garden. Oh, that's a nice surprise. Oh, yeah. Just when you think you've seen it all, and you discover something new. Yeah, it is a lovely view. Yeah. Not pleased with that. Get a crocus there. It's in oh, the magpie. Daffy's. All in flower. I know. Is that a cello? It looks a bit um, small for a double bass. Quite possibly. Yeah. I wonder what's in that building, if anything. So we've just worked out we've been walking on a restored section 
of the Marine Parade lower path and that building which we're going to go investigate is what's known as the Grotto. It looks like the water caravan park just on that hill over there which would be a really nice place for a caravan what? park. I wonder what happened to it. Is it that hill over there? Maybe it moved back in some uh, caravans there but I think definitely there were one there. Building known as the Grotto. Good picture for that Christmas in here. Do you know that? I bet you've got. Yeah, you could get a bit of tinsel in it and a few little elves as assistants. That'd be good. There isn't that. You'll be noticing there's quite a lot of flowers. It's early. Early? But it's going to look lovely here. I mean, all the duck is there. Mid February. Starting to. Yeah, daffodils are out. Well, I mean, these are little bedding plants. I'm surprised they're surviving outside at this time of year. Yeah, hopefully they don't get a, a cold snap to kill them. Lots of daffodils. You know, that's the first kids playground we've seen so far at the top of here yeah the first one in Saltburn we've noticed we're just wondering who he is the gent made of iron Henry Pease. Henry the chance to go the new seaside resort. I had something to do with the Stockton to the Arlington Railway. Mm. Never noticed a little pack to mask. Walk to mask if you're very keen. So that path to mask is actually cycle route one by the looks of it. And we're just gonna investigate this looks like a church. Um up here. It's quite impressive. So it's the Emmanuel Church. Um, Looks like there's a fish shop next to it. What an impressive building. Do you need to go in there? Yeah, it's the shop on it. What fancy this jigsaw? Like? I don't know, it's a boy's jigsaw. Like. Could be difficult. <laughs> Piece missing, that's quite good. So, what for? Um, four quid for it, a piece missing? Yeah. Well, you do your bit for charity. Oh, I do. Maybe that's what matters. Bakeries. Might find me in there. Might do. It's popular. It's a good sign. We're in the Anchor Garden. Right by the hotels. The surfboard there, Katrina. Yeah, I don't know. It's a long way from the sea. That's them bay windows. They're almost like about 270 degrees. 
a good panoramic view because I've never seen any like that before. So it looks like we're going back down the steps. Choice of road or steps. We did the road last night. We did the road last night. Tons of steps. So if you're a surfer, you got the added mass. How many steps did you count? I've got 177. 177. I've forgotten now, that wasn't 79. Yeah. There were a lot of um, grumpy parts there. There were, yeah. So I reckon they're in more than 199. I'll take a look at it. We're going to go check this out here. I'm going. I'm going to need your railway, see if it's open. Yeah, let's go have a look. It's in that restaurant. It's, uh, it's been a little bit over now. Can you imagine the feeling of insecurity while you're dining there? So it looks like that's the, the railway over there. But uh, no sign of any trains yet. But we're going to walk down a bit further, see if we can cross. And then we'll have a, a good look and see if we can get inside the sheds. Uh, it turns out there is a playground near where we parked. If anyone's got children, can let off a bit of steam in the playground. It does look good, yeah. We're a bit old for it now, though, aren't we? It's a little It's alright for you saying that, but if you were to try it, you'd get some right funny looks and eventually somebody would tell you not to. I don't think we're going to get to see any trains. Hidden. So you can just see us in the Kandab car park just there. So as I mentioned, we're in one of the four motorhome bays by pure luck and uh, seizing an opportunity yesterday. And the toilet block is just is just over there and the price of spending a penny is absolutely nothing. Toilets are up at nine and wall four, and it's a six pound fifty tariff all day, so it is an absolute bargain. And there's a few terms and conditions of use. So, Saltburn on sea. Off we go. On farewell. On farewell, yeah. Adios until next time. Be seen up here Saturday afternoon. See you, Saltburn!